every morning, 5.30. I've been getting my ass up and exercising on my cheap ass exercise bike that I have in my bedroom. And it's boring as hell. I mean, it's just like, ugh. You know, I was got up and just pedal, maybe I listened to some music. At one point I was actually practicing my DJing, which is kind of fun. Um, and then I started watching YouTube videos and whatever, reading emails, just getting shit done. Um, and according to the Apple Watch, I'll do about 300 calories just for an hour, which isn't too bad, I don't think, you know, not too bad. Um, thing is, I keep seeing these advertisements on the friggin' TV and internet and whatever for these Peloton. It's, uh... It's this, I don't know, it's this $2,000 <laughs> exercise bike. And I'm like, how, how, what the hell does this thing do? It has a screen on the top and it's like a, it looks like an iPad, you know, you have iPad. And then what happens is it is, there's a, there's a active trainer. It looks like there's a person that sits there and motivate you and tells you what to do you know all right we're gonna climb uphill we're gonna do this you know you've seen it so i decided to see if i could get the app for free and i did i went into the app store and sure enough there it is for free and i downloaded it and it said oh you can try it for 30 days okay cool 30 days no credit card no sign up no subscription in the apple store or anything like that so i install it and it's mainly for Exercise bikes, running, yoga, which I don't freaking get, um, and there's a couple other ones, but limited shit that you can do, I guess, in your house. All right, so I figured I'd give it a try. They have different workouts. They go 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 45, 75, and 90. And what I found is, I was scrolling through the list, and I'm like, Okay, why don't I get to the bottom, get to the bottom, get to the bottom. I, I couldn't get to the bottom of the list of courses. I'm like, or, you know, classes. I'm scrolling and scrolling. I'm like, wow, there's a lot of shit in here. Then you hit the filter button. You can actually choose. I only want 10-minute workouts. I want 20-minute workouts. So, all right, I hit 60-minute workouts. It shows me there's 135 pre-recorded video workouts that you can put on. Cool. If you do 30-minute workouts... There is like 1,600 30 minute workouts. Wow, amazing. Cool, let's try it. Slap the Apple Watch on. I don't even hit the you know exercise button like I normally do. I just load up the app, immediately takes over the watch. Okay, took, so, took over the watch, plops up the um, heart rate. Okay, and then it starts a little countdown timer. Very simple. You can swipe left or right, and you can see different st statistics and shit like that. In the app, you see the guy, you know, and you see your heart rate up in the corner. Nice. Um, what I found is that, you know, it is a pre-recorded class, which is fine. And uh, you know, there's other people in the, there's other people in the room with you, I guess. They and they show the little bar graph of where they are. Maybe, let's say you started at 5.30, but someone else started at 5 o'clock, so you'll see their little, like it matters, you'll see their little thing, they're halfway through. There's no way to really interact with these people, but you can see there's people up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I think it's interesting. I know that a lot of doctors in my class, I'm like, doctor, doctor, doctor. I'm like, shit, okay. And then, you know, as they get done, they delete them, and they're off the list, and they're out of the class. What I like is, though, um, the music is probably the best part. Um, people provide feedback. I don't know when they do these classes or if they do it live or whatever. Then people make suggestions for the songs. And it's almost like he's a, a DJ of sorts. I mean, he's playing the music that the people want to hear. And I heard some pretty badass music this morning, you know. Um, some rock music, some pop music, Britney Spears, whatever. You mix it up, hip hop, all that shit. But specifically, I guess people requested stuff. Three Days Grace. I mean, I was like, okay, this is cool. And I just randomly picked a course. Um, so 
So it's cool. And he's talking about this cadence thing, which I don't know much about mountain biking and shit. So basically, you can turn any piece of shit exercise bike with the right sensors and the right watts into basically a full Peloton bike. So I got a piece of shit bike. It's less than 100 bucks. And I've already got the Apple Watch. And I guess... There's one other thing that I have to look into. There's a, uh, he keeps talking about cadence, cadence. Keep your cadence up. Cadence, I, I have to look it up, but I think that's how fast you're pedaling or whatever the hell it is. But you can get a Bluetooth cadence sensor and that will pair with the phone, just like the watch will pair with the phone. And now this app will keep track just like the $2,000 bike will. And it will keep track of all your statistics how fast you're pedaling your heart rate you know where you are in the thing this is this is pretty cool um i'm gonna see if i can find the cheap cadence sensor on amazon and if it's compatible with this thing now they charge a subscription it is twelve dollars and 99 cents a month and people may balk at that and say oh it's twelve dollars i should shut up okay shut the fuck up and here's why you join a gym, you have to physically get in the car, you have to drive to the place, right? Then you gotta try to schedule to get this type of workout, I guess you would say. You have to find a schedule that works with yours, right? You know, when is this guy doing it? Oh, it's 6 to 6.30 or 6, whatever. And then manage to get there, kill yourself, use a lot of gas, work your ass off on some piece of equipment that 5,000 of the people have used. And then go home and take a shower. I don't like that. It's a pain in the ass. I mean, you're not going to get the same workout because you're not interactive, but it's pretty damn close. Um, it was, I remember I took a course at LA Fitness and the guy did very, very similar stuff. I mean, he was all over the map. All right, we're going to get our heart rates up to whatever, your cadence on your level four. All right, let's cool down a little bit. All right, now we're going to go for seven more minutes at high pace, and then we're going to go down to whatever. He's varying it all over the place, and I think that's what the secret is to the exercise shit, not just getting on the freaking bike and pedaling at the same rate for an hour, which basically is burning 300 calories, but nowhere near as much as I probably would if I actually followed this guy's advice, which I didn't, by the way. I was, I had the iPad, and surfing around like I normally do, you know, reading emails, and then he's on the phone doing the shit. I don't know, I'm wondering if the iPad app or whatever is any, well, actually, I'd rather not, to be honest with you, I'd rather have the iPad separate so I can do my thing, and the phone on the side with the little instructor telling me to help do. I don't know. I think this is a really interesting idea. I'm going to look into it, and um, this may be my new workout routine. I don't think $12.99 a month is really that unreasonable, considering you do this every day. And the fact that they have thousands and thousands and thousands of freaking classes, I'm like, ridiculous. I'm like, ah, jeez, you know, and different music, which they were caught, by the way, um, yeah. Not paying the royalties to the music, it was pretty interesting. And it's all the original songs, by the way. It's not like it's like when you go to LA Fitness, <laughs> they have music, but the music sucks. It's like it's like a like a Muzak version of it. It's like, ugh. you know, they can't because they don't want to pay for the music. So you get this really lame ass version of a song you know, but it's not the real one. So I don't know. My thinking is Spotify should get in on this because Spotify's got 43 million songs and you should allow the user to throw in their own playlist. I mean, this is a good idea. And then it'll pick songs that are about the same rate and throw them in there so you get motivated to your music. But, you know, for what it is now, I think this is a great experiment. I got 30 days to play around with it and then, oh, I gotta pay 12 bucks. All right, so that's it. That's my review of the Peloton, P-E-L-O-T-O-N, iPhone app. Uh, would I buy their bicycle? Hell no. Um, it's way too expensive. I mean, yeah, there's one thing that you do need to be careful with on these bicycles, and that is um, when I went to the LA Fitness, these bicycles were like heavy, really freaking heavy. I mean, you know, you could, you could literally get up and pedal on it 
not sit on, in other words, you're basically putting all your weight on the pedals and not sitting down. Real heavy pushing down. I would not do that on my bike because I'm pretty damn certain it will break. So, but you get what you pay for. I don't, I don't care. I don't need to push myself that hard. I'm just trying to stay in shape. All right, so that's my review. Sorry, again, uh, for taking so long, but uh, I wanted you guys to hear all the little intricacies of what the hell this is about because I was under the assumption that you had to buy this piece of shit $2,000 bike, and you don't, and that's good.